Good afternoon, everybody. This is Troy Moldy, and I'm with TM Listings, and I'm here with Jeremy Peterson with Remax Results, and I'm doing our monthly HUD outreach uh, for the month of August 2018. Hard to believe summer's already over. Today I'm going to talk about HOA. It's something that's a good topic to revisit from time to time and talk about HOAs and how they're handled with uh, HUD-owned properties. So when you put in a bid and your bid is accepted and uh, you're going to get the HOA documents, that is considered a buyer's expense. So whatever those uh, resale disclosures are, you're allowed access to them, but it will be a buyer's expense. So know that up front. And if you go through and find that any of the, um, there's like a past due assessment or what have you, a general rule of thumb has been if it can be considered a future benefit enjoyment to a buyer, then it's prorated to the day of closing. Um, if, uh, if the, or, or I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. If it's a future benefit uh, to the buyer, then it's going to be assumed by the buyer. If it's something that would not be a benefit like a water bill or something along those lines that has no benefit to a, a buyer, then HUD will pay that. That's usually a good general rule of thumb. And an example of that would be, let's just say that the HOA redid all the decks and they assess each individual owner uh, $30,000 and it's a brand new assessment and you're closing next month HUD would pay the assessment balance up to that closing date and then the buyer will assume that thereafter because they consider that a future benefit. So good little tip for you guys and uh, that's all I have for this week. As always, if you'd like to reach out to us, uh, this is our contact information. Thanks for checking in. We'll see you guys next month.